Okay, how's it going guys? Connor is here and welcome to something that is not Pokemon Reborn. It is a brand new playthrough. This is Pokemon Empyrean. And it's not just any playthrough of Pokemon Empyrean. We're going to be doing a Nuzlocke of Pokemon Empyrean. So if you actually see my uh, main channel, uh, Galata Gaming, the link will be in the description below if you haven't known about that. But anyways, uh, yeah, I actually did a showcase of this where I played through like the first uh, 50 minutes of the game. So I do know, you know, up to like the first couple of towns what's going on, but uh, yeah, I haven't played through much of that anyways. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, Nuzlocke. So uh, yeah, here's my original thing right there. I joined the Discord, what the fuck? Okay, I don't know. Anyways, let's go ahead and do a Nuzlocke of this now. What made me want to play this game actually was because when I did the original showcase, this game actually did seem pretty interesting. It's, you know, it's not just your typical fan game. It actually has a lot of its own personality to it, shall I say. A sullen voice speaks to you from afar. Uh, okay. We'll go with the new sprite, because, you know, it's a new sprite. At least I think it's a new sprite. Welcome to Steers World of Pokemon. Soon you become a trainer and unfold your very own adventure. Alright. Again, most of the stuff I've already seen, so... It's not important, I'll just kind of go through it. Hi, Dad. So we're finally here. Do you remember this place, Mark? We used to go here on vacations, back in the day. Yeah, I remember. Well, not really. Sorry, Dad. Uh, you don't. You don't? All the better. You'll get to re-explore, then. Just hope you didn't forget where our house is. Well, you can't miss it. It's up there. Okay, I can see it. Let's go unpack, and then we can go visit the town and do some real father-son bonding. Oh, yay. Right, he dashed off as usual. That's the one thing I did like about this game, was those weird sound effects they just added. Alright, so we go straight to the house. Nothing really else we can do. Oh? Mark, did you get lost in the woods? It took you ages to get here. I was about to call the Mountain Rescue Service. I literally came straight here. It was like two seconds. What the hell are you talking about, Dad? Dad, I was right behind you. Jeez. Well, uh, does this old house evoke your memories? It feels familiar. It smells familiar. That's weird. What do you mean it smells familiar? Yes, it's nice, isn't it? So anyways, how long will you be staying? Three days. Then I have to return to work. Only three days? And then you're off again doing your James Pokebond stuff? Ha, huh, yeah, well, I know it's not much, Mark. But I promise you will get a we'll get to spend more time together from now on, at least once a month. <laughs> Making exciting trips just like this. Once a month. Guaranteed or your money back. Once a month? I guess that's better than well almost never. I know. Anyways, are you ready to hit the town? I heard there's a Pokemon trainer get together in town held by Mr. Mon. Surely you remember him. A Pokemon trainer get together? <laughs> that sounds lame. Why would you want me to go to that? That's right. Pokemon trainers from all the neighboring towns come here to hang out and exchange the hottest Poke news. Well, the hottest of news. <clears throat> and Mark, I hope you didn't forget. Tomorrow, you'll get your first Pokemon and officially become a Pokemon trainer. <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh yeah, I can't wait. Oh. Someone's calling me. It's Chief. Yes, they relocated the Reliquay? Reliquia? I don't know. Understood. I'll be arriving soon. Mark, something's up. Don't worry, it's a minor thing. I'll be back soon, okay? Aren't you on vacation, Dad? Eh, no, no. <laughs> I don't need to answer you, boy. You don't tell your father how to live his life. Okay, okay. So I know there is a love ball right here there's also this uh computer but i don't know the code to it so i might try looking for that off screen so it needs a password i don't know what that'll do but i mean maybe find it off screen that'd be great besides that there's really nothing here my room i'm gonna grab the potion and be off this old smell wait i remember this i used to play here i play chess with dad on this weird chess board there's only a single white horse here. Where are the rest of the pieces? Hmm. 
wonder if that's the code. Horse. Or white horse. That was the wrong box. I'll try that code. I never really... Hmm. I'll try horse. Because they're, they're like, what? what's the reason of that text coming up if it's not important? I'm just walking into the room being like, oh man, there's only a white horse left on this chessboard. <laughs> wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Let's go try that code real quick. We'll try horse, and if that's not it, we'll try white horse. Actually, we'll try white horse first, I guess. Not white whore, white horse. Shit. Okay, how about just horse? God damn it, why is my S always would not work? Okay, what about white? God damn it, did I be capitalized? Better not. I'll try capitalized white horse. Oh no, uh, what's the horse called in chess? Bishop? Or is it called knight? I don't know. Let me try white bishop. What? Oh, it's only 10 letters. Interesting. Okay. White horse. Okay. I don't know. I'll try to figure that out off screen so I don't have to waste time doing it. I just thought, you know, him saying it was important somehow. Classic, he's gone. Well, since I have nothing better to do, I can go check out that Pokemon Trainer get-together that I mentioned. Hold on. And this chair is white. Clue, perhaps? No, okay. All right, I'll try to figure that out off screen. Unless I can't do anything with it right now, but I'll try to meddle with it off screen, see if there's anything that comes up. All right. Remember I checked, tried checking all these rocks last time. I don't think there's any hidden items in them. There is an item over here, though. I think it's just a potion. Yes, yeah, just a regular potion. Sorry if I'm quieter than usual. I'm recording this late at night. People are sleeping in my house, so I don't want to be too loud and wake them up and get yelled at. And then get kicked out of the house, and then, you know, have to live on the streets for the rest of my life. That, that wouldn't be good. was an Orinberry. Okay, we also gotta talk to this old man up here because he gives us some interesting berries, so let him explain what they do. Ah, young one, you must be wondering what this loam, loamy soil is here for. Well, it's simple. You can plant apra plum seeds on it. If you, if your apra plum plant seeds, or plant needs water, you should use fresh water on it. It's a marvelous hobby on its own. But I also heard certain apra plum flavors can be sold for high prices in richer parts of the region making this hobby very lucrative. Here, since you're just starting out, I'll give you some Aberplums as a gift. Nice. All right, so it's a bit different than just, you know, planting orin berries, getting back orin berries and shit like that. It's a bit more interesting. All right, uh, I don't think anything else here. Well, I'll check the houses. I don't believe anybody else gives us like free shit. This guy's just busy. He does have a cadaver, though, which is pretty cool. Besides them, though, I don't think these rocks contain hidden items, or so it says. Hmm. I don't think there's anything else. Let's talk to Mr. Mullen. I want to kind of try to speed through this earlier part that I've already played so we can get to the new shit. Hello. Uh, you look somehow familiar to me, trainer. I'm not a trainer. My name's Mark. My father told me you'd know me. Oh, Mark. You've grown quite a lot since... Uh, quite a lot. Uh, it's good to see you. And I see your father isn't with you. Is he busy saving the world again? Hee <laughs> hee. In fact, yes. He's saving the world as we speak. He said he'd be back soon. Marvelous. Say, Mark, could you do me a favor? Could you go ask Mr. Joyce for one bag of Pokemon cookies? The Pokemon simply love the cookies, but we seem to have run out of them. Sure, I'd be glad to help. Excellent. Mr. Joyce's house, the only one with the red roof. We can't miss it. Okay, so I know exactly where that's at. That's not red, that's orange. Okay, he took the 
Geo due to the name. Classic. Okay. So yeah, it's this house right here. Hold on. Did you say anything important to me? No. Okay. Should say we can get starters in the grass, but they're kind of extremely rare. Mr. Joyce, Mr. Mon sent me to fetch a bag of cookies for the Pokemon get-together. What a surprise. Someone needs me to cook something. Well, I'd love to make you some, but you see, someone stole all of my happy powder. <laughs> By that I mean cocaine. And you can't make happy cookies without cocaine. It's... it is known. Who stole it? I'll go kick their ass and get it back. Now, I don't know for sure, but it could. I could swear it was that little urchin Richie. You can get back the happy powder, and I'll be able to make you some cookies. Alright, let's go kick Richie's ass, dude. Why the hell is his bed here? This man sleeps inside his factory? Or do you make his factory, or his bake factory, his bakery inside his house? Richie, get over here, you little shit. I'm gonna kick your ass. Screw you. Oh my god. I'm gonna throw this kid in the goddamn ocean. See if you can swim, bitch. Okay. Uh. Hello? Can't stop me, fool. Alright, guess he got scared or he got tired of running. Just went home. It's like he's a bad parent, dude. Look at this. Uh, what did Richie do this time? Uh, tell you what, why don't you raise him if you're so smart? Look at that, dude. What kind of fucking parent says that? Jesus. Alright, let's grab this happy powder. Oh, by the way, I don't even know if I mentioned this, but if you want to play the game yourself instead of watching me play it, uh, you can go ahead and download it in the link in the description below. So, uh, yeah. I don't know if I said that before. I wonder where's Dad. He should have returned by now. Now, oh, believe me, he's doing some shit. Meanwhile, this is the time and place. Okay, so now we're the Dad. Doing some James Bond shit. Let's fucking get it. Oh, hello. Agent Hal, I presume? So they were expecting me. Absolutely. Your recent endeavors have almost brought our entire operations to a halt. It's only natural that we would prepare for your grand arrival. Hold on, let me turn the audio. I feel like it's too loud. That's good. You, I'm gonna lower it a little bit, actually. Just in case I am talking lower. I just want to make sure it's not higher than my actual voice, because again, Talking lower than I usually would, so. You laughable fool. Your group was burned to the ground in the last assault. You lost everything. You know nothing, Agent Hal. I'll let you through so you can see for yourself the ashes of our organization. First, a duel. Dance, Bisharp. Okay, I was telling that Bisharp what to do. I still don't know if this game has a speed up button. I would really like a speed up button. Let's hit him with the Aurora Sphere. Eat, 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 eat. Critical hit, too. Let's go. We're getting that 68 XP. Glide score. It's four times we to uh, ice. Um, ice beam. one-shot me. We are four times weak, but it's not stab. Nice, it didn't one-shot us. Nice, 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 nice. Next is a Gallade Psychic Fighting. Battle Agent Hal. La da da da. <laughs> Just walk right through. Oh shit. <laughs> it was a trap. Oh no. <laughs> Damn, Lucario, help. Pokey Kata. Is that like Pokey Karate? Oh. So much for James Pokemon, dude. How the fuck did he get captured that easily? We've disarmed him. Welcome, Agent Hal. 
do realize capturing me means nothing. Your group is gone, but I'll humor, I'll humor you. What is it that you're doing here? Ho ho, you crave answers, agent. And I'll give them to you. Why? Let's say it's a parting gift. Parting gift? I wasn't planning on staying for too long. I'm glad you anticipated my move. Agent Hal, have you perhaps heard of Empyreans? They've helped me escape and descend from the abyss you plunged me in. Huh? Are they another one of your petty criminal affiliates? I suppose I might as well tell you. Behold. Ho ho. It's a pretty looking egg. Proto egg. That has been incubating for over a thousand years. 1,106 years to be exact. Will hatch within 41 days. Then our new ruler, and with him, our new world, shall arise. Oh, I wanted to learn more. God dang it. I'm sure he's doing fine. He's totally not going to get killed or anything. I'll get on with these ridiculous errands. Alright, so we got to bring the happy shit over to the bakery. Ho ho, very good kiddo. Now stand back and prepare yourself to see the magic of fake, fake, faking cocaine cookies. Nice, I got a bag of cocaine cookies. All done. Say hi to Mr. Mom for me, will you? Oh, thanks, Mr. Joyce, I will. Alright. Got the cookies. Go ahead and head back. Oh, are those the happy cookies I see in your arms? Well done, Mark. You did good. The Pokemon will be most delighted. Mmm. You look slightly tired, Mark. Have I troubled you too much with my errand? Nah, it's fine. I just need to rest a bit. Mmm. Oh, well if it isn't Professor Almond. Mark, it seems you're in luck. This is Professor Almond, the famous Pokemon professor. Mmm. So you're Mark. Uh, what brings you out here, Professor? Other than the obvious reasons. Unfortunately, Mr. Mon, I'm not here for the get-together. It is actually quite serious. I see. Let's talk inside, then. Mark, enjoy the get-together. I'll be back shortly. Wow, but I hate these people. Actually, it is Mark that I need to talk to. Oh? Well, let's talk inside. So Dad's dead, huh? Oh well. <laughs> It's good while it lasted. Now, now, what is all this about? Yeah, Professor, what's going on? I'm not liking the mood here. Mark, I've received word from your father's superior. He has provided little to no detail about the situation, but here's the gist of it. Your father, Mark, has been caught by an enemy group. <laughs> oh, no. What? Furthermore, and the reasons to this are unclear, no attempts will be made to rescue him. Uh, it's, it's too much work. <laughs> he was the only one that did anything around here, and you know, it's too much work to go rescue him, so you know, we'll, 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 we'll let him deal with it. Enemy group? What enemy group? No attempts to rescue him? What's going on? His dad would never allow himself to be captured like that. This is quite unsettling. And that information is all there is? I'm afraid so. Your father, Mark, has left a message for you before he took off message. Yes, it's actually a letter. Here, take it with you. It's the location of his favorite strip club. He wants you to go there and have the time of your life. I, I can't believe this. This cannot be happening. I know it's not easy, Mark. There's still hope. Even though Silentia gave up on your father, there's no reason why any of us should give up. A doctor, an old man, and a kid. What could go wrong? Oh, not doctor. Professor. Professor, an old man and a kid. What could go wrong? Hmm. That's right, Mark. We're close friends of your father, and we'll do anything we can to help him. That's correct. Dad's a pretty badass trainer. I can't believe he would ever fall like that. Or fail. Mark, please believe me. Your father is missing, and we will do all we can to find him. Mark, after you read that letter, please come visit me. Run a Pokemon lab in the nearby town of Mera. 
I know, I know your father would want you to follow in his footsteps of becoming a Pokemon trainer. It's my duty now to set you on that path. When you come to Mera, I will give you your first Pokemon. I'll come. I'll come real good. Very well. I'll see you there. Uh, then, Mr. Mon, it was nice seeing you. Again. Hmm. Likewise. If only the circumstances were not so grim. Take care, Professor. Want a cocaine cookie? No, oh, sure. Grim. Dark. Surely the situation would be accurately described with those two words. But I'll use neither of those words. Instead, from here on out, my quest will be to unfold. Or twofold. Become the best Pokemon trainer and find Dad. Mark, you feeling alright? You started mumbling something to yourself. Do you want to rest here for a while? Mm hmm. Oh, no, it's okay. It's okay, Mr. Mon. I was just beginning my origin story. Dun da da da. I'm okay. I'll be heading out to Maritown now. Good, good. Can I go in your room and check your porn collection? Huh, no, my porn. Okay, sorry. All right, and everybody's gone. They they ate their coke. Their, they ate their co cocaine cookies and left. Bunch of moochers. All right. So next, we gotta go this way, straight over to Maritown. And you know what? We're gonna save that. Actually, this town actually this route doesn't actually lead. Yeah, should we get our starter Pokemon? I think we should go ahead and get our starter Pokemon. That leads nowhere. It's a pretty straightforward route. Of course, we don't have a Pokemon, so there's going to be no grass. Uh, we'll probably check out the houses next time. We're going to just go straight to the center. Oh, not straight to the center. We're going to go straight up to the uh, lab and grab our Pokemon. What are these people doing here? We're all here to get Pokemon. Professor said he would open a day earlier, so a bunch of people flocked from the get-together in Celine here. Looks like I'll have to wait in this horrendous line. Huh. Mark. Psst. Or I guess not. Professor? Shh. Come with me. I'll show you the secret entrance. Noise. With your sister and father. Yeah, whatevs. I'm here for the Pokemon, dude. Alright. Mark, why don't you take a seat? Hi. Oh, hello. Good, good. Um, sorry for the hassle outside. I decided to open the starter giving day. Day early. Wait, starter giving day day earlier. And when the trainers come from Celine heard about it. Trainers from Celine heard about it. They swarmed this place. Well, it's more money for the lab. So Mark, I'd like you to meet these two. They're about to become Pokemon trainers just like you. Hi, I'm Moria. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yo, my name is Blitz. Remember it, dog. <laughs> What's Gucci? Uh, okay. Good now. Uh, let's go to the Pokemon business. Usually, you have the option of choosing a starter only from one region. But since you have the indirect luck of being children of good friends of mine, I will give you the option of choosing a starter from any region. That's right, we get to choose from what? 21 different starter Pokemon? Regions 1 through 7? Wow, that's so awesome, Professor. Yeah, cool, like yes. Starters from 7 regions. Man, it's gonna be tough to choose. Now, now. Here are the Pokemon. Just pick one that you like the best. In the end, it will matter not which starter partner you choose, but what you do with it. Oh, they're all too cute. Which one will I pick? Tisk. I'm picking the strongest one, of course. Come on, Mark. You choose first. All right. Oh, man, this is so difficult because I don't know anything. We didn't even get to the first gym when I uh, did the uh, showcase. So I don't know what I want to pick. Fire, grass, or water? You know what? I think we might just go with the same pick that we did last time. Or should we go? Uh, I'm thinking we, I want to go Poplio. No. Yeah, let's go with the same one we did last time. So, on the showcase, I went ahead and chose Rowlet, and I think I'm going to go the same the same route. A nice grass flying. So we're weak to what? Fire. Obviously flying. Hmm, I don't know. Okay. Poison. Do I give a nickname to Rowlet? Uh, I guess we'll nickname him. Uh, 
nickname him Hawkeye, even though, again, he's not really a hawk, he's an owl, but, you know, whatever. Hell yeah, Tepig, you're mine. Okay, that's interesting, so they choose different Pokemon every time. Because in the showcase, I chose Rowlet, but he chose Litten. Now he chose now he chooses Tepig. But she chose the same one. She chose Squirtle last time, she chose Squirtle this time. So I feel like whatever type we choose, obviously he's going to choose the type that's better, but it might be random. And then she'll choose the type that's worse, but it'll be random. Interesting. That's at least what I think. I don't know for sure. Good. Okay, so you've chosen your Pokemon. Treat them with care, and let me give you a few tips about the journey ahead. Boring. Now Blitz, this is important, so listen. Eh, I'm out of here. I ain't gonna listen to your old man speeches. I got my Pokemon to train. Sayonara, losers. Okay, bye. He's like, motherfucker. For heaven's sake, please excuse Blitz. Ever since I've known him as a small boy, he's always been a bitch. Ahem. As I was saying, an epic journey awaits you as a Pokemon trainer. Your primary goal should be defeating gyms and collecting badges. The first gym is situated in the neighboring town, Calistern, west from here. Beware though, that's the wild Route 101 separates Mirror and Calistern. When you collect all the badges, you'll be able to participate in the Pokemon League, where the best trainers from all the regions battle. One day, maybe you'll even get to challenge the notorious Elite Four that are said to be the most powerful trainers in the world. Well, with all that being said, I wish you all the best and luck on your journey. Thanks for everything, Professor. See you around, Mark. Okay. Now, Mark, before you leave, I'll entrust you with something. Hey. It's a device that automatically catalogs the Pokemon you encounter. My research will greatly benefit from the data you collect with it. Yeah, I'll keep it with me. Thank you, Mark. And one last thing. You should focus on your Pokemon and your duties as a Pokemon trainer. Meantime, I'll endeavor to find as much information about your father's disappearance as possible. Whatever I uncover, and, or whenever I uncover a new piece of info, I'll make sure to contact you. Thanks, Professor. Good luck, Mark. All right, and with that being said, guys, I think we're going to go ahead and end this episode off here. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more. It's been Connor. So I'll see you guys next time with some more Pokemon Empyrean, where we'll hopefully get our Nuzlocke started. And, uh, yeah, see you guys next time. Peace out.